Welcome to the update. I'm Heidi Tiltons. Security experts say Israel won't be deterred by a statement from Australia, the US and its allies calling for a ceasefire in Lebanon. The countries are calling for an immediate 21-day ceasefire to negotiate an end to the conflict due to come into effect in the coming hours. But Director of Strategic Analysis Australia, Michael Shoebridge, admits it won't make much of a difference. This looks to me like it's what these country leaders have to say. But it's not something that Israeli Prime Minister Netanyahu or Hezbollah leader Hassan Nasrallah will be listening to. Household wealth has risen for the seventh consecutive quarter. According to the latest ABS data, the growth was largely driven by residential land and dwellings as Aussie house prices continued to increase despite high interest rates. The Greens say they're open to negotiating with the government over proposed changes to negative gearing. The PM has shut down talk of an imminent change, insisting it's not his focus at the moment. Treasury is investigating whether tax concessions for property investors should be rolled back. The Greens' Max chandler Mather says says Labor has turned its back on suffering Australians. Why is it now that we can only expect scraps from a Labor government who have overseen the worst cost of living and housing crisis we've seen in generations and by and large have sat on their hands while millions of people suffer? New data reveals drivers in Sydney, Brisbane and Melbourne are being exposed to higher fuel prices for longer. The NRMA is launching a new multi-layered program to help Aussie motorists take advantage of the price cycle. Eric Adams has become the first sitting mayor in New York City history to be indicted while in office. The charges stem from an investigation into whether the Democrat mayor colluded with the Turkish government for donations in the lead-up to his 2021 campaign. But in a taped message, he insists the case is based on lies. I will fight these injustices with every ounce of my strength and my spirit. If I'm charged, I know I am innocent. And Coles is phasing out single-use bags in the fresh produce section as it steps up its war on plastic. In an eight-week trial in select stores, the bags will be replaced with repurposed cardboard boxes initially used to transport fresh produce from farms to their stores. Sport and entertainment are next. In sport, the Swans have arrived in Melbourne ahead of Saturday's AFL Grand Final against the Lions. Sydney's Errol Golden says they have an immense amount of respect for their opposition. They're an amazing team. There's a reason why we're playing against them in the Grand Final. It's um, you know their ability to come back the past two weeks. A setback for the Lions today. They were kicked off the MCG so singer Katy Perry could rehearse. Kalen Ponga may be forced to backflip on his decision to stand down from kangaroos duty if he wants to avoid a ban from the NRL. And just a week after becoming the most capped player in Wallabies history, James Slipper has been left out of the squad for Saturday's clash with the All Blacks. In entertainment news, the nominees for the 2024 ARIA Awards have been announced. Royal Otis has topped the list with eight nominations. Don Don racking up six, while Kylie Minogue is up for five gongs, including Album of the Year for Tension. Justin Bieber's gaunt appearance has sparked concern from fans after he broke cover for the first time since Sean Diddy Combs was indicted on sex trafficking charges. The superstar's formerly close bond with Diddy dates back to when he was just 15, fans quickly voicing fears about his thin appearance after he was spotted out to dinner in LA. And Reese Witherspoon's daughter has landed a major modelling job with Diddy. 25-year-old Ava Philippe, whose dad is actor Ryan Philippe, posting pictures of her new campaign on Instagram. And that's the latest from the Nova Podcast News team. We'll have another episode of The Update for you tomorrow.